Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing what your future self wants you to know five years on. So this is gonna be your future self five years in the future. So whenever you're watching this, this, this is timeless. So whenever you're watching this five years in the future, what does your future self want you to know? So we're gonna start off with no crystals and then we're gonna get the crystals back on. So we have group one, group two, group three, group four and group five. There's also different colors of the cards so you can choose through that way either. So I'll let you pick now. And we'll just add the crystals on now. So these are the crystals. And as I say, we have group one, two, three, four, or five. So let's see which one you wanna pick. And we're just gonna start off with group one about the future self and what your future self wants you to know five years on in the future. Hello group one. So first of all, we got this gorgeous blue crystal and let's see what you guys chose for group number one. So what does your future self want you to know five years on in the future? So the overall energy is the Ace of Swords. That's gorgeous, I love that. And we got Yeeha. That's really good. I'm feeling like a really like strong momentum from this. And we got bring your ideas to life. So those are the overall energies and let's see what you have. This is the bottom of the deck. Yes, okay, so that's the bottom. We've got breaking free, miracle healing, family harmony, quiet time and new location. So what I'm feeling is I feel like you are in your, I wanna say, or not late teens. Yeah, yeah, late teens, um, early 20s. I'm feeling like, five years on you could be married you could um, have children so there's going to be new people entering your life and these people i feel like you're not going to expect who they are okay so what's what's the advice here what's the overall advice what do these what does group one need to know right now so first of all i'm feeling like you guys are actually having money issues they're telling me that it's all going to be okay money is is gonna be fine, money is gonna keep rolling in. I think since actually 2019 onwards, it's actually gonna be really good for you. I feel like in your childhood, you've had quite a lot of money issues or you've had trouble holding on to money or if you had money, it kind of went away from you and it kind of just ran away. And I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling like it's, it's gonna, it's gonna flow really nicely. And another thing that I'm getting is relationships. I'm getting okay so with relationships it's okay to be scared is what I'm getting it's okay to be scared give yourself enough quiet time on your own and it's okay to be on your own is what I'm getting it's okay to be on your own let's have a look let's have a look there's lot, lots of different things coming through right so I'm getting family so family is going to be really important for you in the, ne in the next five years I definitely feel like you guys are going to be having a family I'm seeing like a lot of people gathering around I'm feeling like there's going to be quite a few gatherings and I can see um, a father figure a dad and I feel like there may be some sort of disconnect with this father figure um a, a few of you i feel like i'm actually feeling like one a father's in jail i feel like you may whoever's watching this i feel like this is just for a few particular people um i feel like this this father figure is a bit of a um not really a good i won't say not a bad he's not a bad person but he's done a few bad things in his life i'm feeling like criminal things and this is only for a select few so i'm just going to say this to you um i feel like you may reunite with this father figure I'm um, getting brothers as well. So a few of you who have brothers, you may get a better relationship with your brother if you haven't got a very good relationship with them now. And I feel like uh, whoever I'm talking to right now, uh, if it's, this is your brother, if you have a brother, um, that um, they're gonna be more supportive in the next five years. Um, and they're gonna decide to be more supportive of you instead of not as supportive. More of, I'm getting like a big brother figure. So let's see what else. So I basically feel like there's nothing you need to worry about right now. Um, the universe is working for you. The universe never works against you. The universe is only working for you. And what I'm feeling is you've had a lot of trials and tribulations is what I'm getting. I never say that. So that's obviously definitely from spirit. Trials and tribulations. Um, a lot of mental a lot of mental, um, mental health issues I'm getting. Mental, I'm getting like mental instability sort of thing. So something is not very stable um, in your past or recently and I feel like you're actually breaking free of that and you will be free of that and I feel I'm actually getting really tearful so 
Um, I'm getting like depression. Um, just a little warning. I'm actually going to talk about um, mental health issues right now. So if you are triggered by that, then um, please skip ahead. So this person I'm getting has depression, has suffered with depression, anxiety, has felt isolated and alone. And I'm actually feeling really, um, I actually feel very connected to this. So I can relate very heavily to this. So I actually feel like um, this person is saying that you've, you've been doing really, really well you, up to this point. Um, you've done everything you need to do. I know you felt out of control, but it's going to be okay. And you're moving forward really, you're moving forward fearlessly now. And you're actually going to be doing so many things that I don't think you actually know you could actually do and didn't think you could do. You're going to be soaring so far and you're going to be building a new home with someone. Um, this could be a relationship. I'm definitely, yeah, definitely like a partner. Okay. You're going to be building a relationship with somebody and this is going to be, um, you're building like foundations. And you're going to be building a new life for yourself that you actually didn't think you could have. I feel like you felt very small and timid. And now you're breaking free of that. And um, the world is your oyster, basically. I feel like money is going to come in really nice for you in the next five years. It's going to, obviously, it's going to be a few, um, i say, trials and tribulations, if that's the right word. Um, but other than that, it's all going to be okay. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting like some, it's like this massive surprise and I'm also seeing a baby as well. So you may be pregnant in the next five years. As I say, I'm definitely getting like early 20s, that sort of thing, uh, like settling down. Um, and I'm feeling like this is somebody I'm talking to right now who actually has been struggling to have a child. And as I say, this is a general reading, so please don't take this um, too, too seriously. But I definitely feel like someone who has been tri having trouble having, having children um, is actually going to have a child. So congratulations on that. So there's, as I say, this is a general reading, so there's a few people that I'm touching on right now. But I definitely feel like quiet time is really, really good for you. Um, and you're going to soar so far. You're going to... There's so much that you are capable of that I don't really think you're ca you think you're capable of and this is to do with what you have naturally inside of you so ideas that you have that you never thought people would like recognize um hobbies that you never thought would go off the ground and turn into like jobs or um would touch people touch people's lives so yeah um let's have a look I think that's basically it um and I, I feel like you're going to be moving to a new location as well. And um, I'm feeling like if this is someone who has anxiety and has depression and um, someone who isn't very good at moving, um, I feel like you might actually be moving somewhere that you didn't actually think you'd be moving to. So somewhere I feel like is quite far away from home where you are now. Um, yeah, I actually feel like I'm actually talking to myself. So this is a very similar reading to what I feel like. I feel like I'm touching on myself right now. So... I feel like I'm touching on like my life. So yeah, this is this is really, really interesting. Um but yeah, so I really hope this resonated. Um I feel like I need to flip this over and just read this to you. So we've got Yeeha. So this is your inner calling. Your inner calling is gonna come through as well um in the next five years. And it's just it's just gonna come through really, really nicely. It's gonna come through really smoothly. And as I say, your core is gonna come out as your life purpose. This is your core here, like it's just beautiful and bright. It's just everything's just gonna be flying really nicely. So you've got when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend you value their yee ha quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us, the universe. Right. So I definitely feel like to not settle. Um they're saying me not settling with someone you're not happy with, because there is someone so much better for you. If you're not happy, there is someone so much better for you out there, and it's not compromising on the small things. Uh, as in as not compromising on a small opportunity. It's like, oh, I'll just take the small opportunity because it's easier. It's like, no, you can have the bigger opportunities. They're there for you. So I think that's it. And you're not going to feel small for the rest of your life. Um, I feel like you're going to be coming into your own. If you aren't already, I feel like you're going to be coming into your own. It's all going to come... It's all going to come forward for you. And, um, yeah. It's all, gonna, it's all there for you. It's just... You need to just reach it and touch it and believe believe that you can do it. Believe that you can take on this world. And I feel like um, I'm talking to someone who feels very small. Um, and I feel like I need to say that 
Um, it's okay to feel like that. It's okay to feel different and it's okay to value what you have because um, you don't know you don't know how capable you are of accomplishing things you actually want to accomplish and not to be scared. It's okay to be scared, um, but you don't need to be scared because it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. It's all going to flow. So I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If this resonated for you, uh, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. Let me know if it did. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. I didn't actually mean to clap. <laughs> there we go then. Hello group number two. Okay, let's see what you have for what your future self wants you to know five years on. Oh, hello. You have the Ace of Cups. That is a lovely card. And we also have Honour Thyself. Do you know what? There's a lot of a lot of blue going on here because this I feel like this this reminds me of like the ocean as well, like blue. I know it's not blue, I know it's it's um like I think it's opalite, but it, it's quite a bluish tint it's very blue I feel so we've also got time to collaborate these are all like these are all relationship cards so this is definitely to do with a relationship here for sure I feel like you've been focusing on a relationship at the moment I feel like you actually need to hear this right now so um what I'm getting is quite similar to group number one is to make sure you're taking care of yourself and they're telling me to stand your ground, especially in relationships. I feel like relationships take on, as I said, relationships take on a lot of people's lives anyway. But it's making sure to think back to yourself and to think you are important and it's not just about having a relationship. And I know this sounds, this sounds a bit aggressive, but I don't, I don't mean to sound aggressive. They're just telling me that I feel like you think relationships as the be or end all of anything. And a lot of you, I can't really focus on one of you because I feel like a lot of you are single, a lot of you are in relationships, so I can't really focus on this. But if you are single, this is for the singles, um, that relationships don't define who you are. And just because, um, just because, what's the word? What am I supposed to be saying? Just because society tells you that you should be in a relationship doesn't mean you have to be in a relationship. And it's on honouring yourself and your qualities and what you actually want in a relationship instead of what other people think you should want. And not to listen to, right, I'm getting like a mum um, like a woman, someone who's telling me and is pointing their finger at me and saying, you need to do this. I'm feeling like I'm getting like an Indian or Pakistan mother and they're almost like pointing their finger at me and and telling me that you should live your life this certain way. And this doesn't have to be um, that actual, that actually doesn't have to be from that certain country, but I'm definitely getting that sort of um, background. So if someone who's watching this is from or has, uh, is from um, Pakistan or India or has, or knows someone from there, like a mother or someone who's like, tells them what to do a lot. Um, I'm feeling like to listen to your gut, listen to yourself. So what else are we getting? Uh, get out in nature a lot. Get out in nature, make sure you're moving forward. Right, so I feel like you get stuck quite easily. Um, you drown yourself a lot in your emotions and it's as in like you bog yourself down too much your emotions when they can easily just shift. I don't feel like you let your emotions shift a lot. I feel like you let them bog down and um, stop you from moving. Um, and actually you stop yourself from actually going outside physically. So they're telling me to make sure to look after yourself and get that fresh air. Um, right, so they're telling me to look at this card. So honour thyself. This is definitely to do the Ace of Cups. And time to collaborate is definitely to do with the relationship. So if you are single, I feel like this is definitely to do with singles, right? This this column here, definitely to do with singles, is to make sure that you're honouring yourself and you will get into a relationship in the next five years. And it's going to be really, really good. It's going to be like soulmate, a proper good relationship. Just curious, when was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent or sublime? It matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous universe. P.S. Okay. Hubba hubba counts. <laughs> so I feel like you need to make sure that you are creating a good relationship with yourself and to not listen to what other people say or what they actually think of you. And it's just a reflection on themselves. And I know a lot of people, I'm getting definitely getting a lot of family members here and they're kind of telling the person who's watching this views but it's, it's their opinion on you so it's not actually who you are it's just what they think you should be doing so what i'm getting is to listen to your heart listen as 
as much as you can listen to yourself and how you react to certain situations because I feel like you react to certain situations differently to a lot of people how you think a lot of people would but actually you think very differently and that's actually a big asset for you and this is going to be really good for you in work I feel like you could have a really good creative job and this could help you to um think differently I think this thinking differently you feel I feel like you think is a negative but actually it's a very good positive um I feel like to make music if you are a person who physically does make music I feel like to carry that on they're telling me to actually enhance this quality in yourself and to really bring it out if you've thought of playing an instrument singing um joining a, a choir a band a group some sort of i'm getting like a spiritual kind of group as well um in a sense like um like oming or like uh drumming like spiritual drumming that sort of thing anything to do with music i'm definitely getting is very good so keep doing that this is really really helpful for you and it get oh right it gets your emotions moving that's what i'm getting so that's why i'm feeling like bogged down it's that uh, make sure you're letting those emotions flow and it doesn't have to be intense like meditation or intense like really deep thinking obviously meditation isn't intense but as in like don't keep go 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 with the meditation thinking it's gonna like suddenly like help everything because it's, it's in moderation so make sure you're looking after yourself um and since you are meditating obviously i think that's good as that is good to meditate obviously not to meditate too much and to um use water and music as a way to cleanse so um take baths maybe if you enjoy taking baths or you haven't had a bath for a while maybe treat yourself to one yeah i'm definitely getting a lot to do with relationships so i feel like relationships is going to be really really important for you and is there anything else that they need to know about this i feel like you're going to get some really good friends in the next five years and they're going to really help you yeah it's basically a five-year prediction and advice <laughs> i literally just noticed that yeah, I'm getting like girlfriends. If you're a girl, I'm getting like girlfriends. I'm getting, I'm getting. If, if you're a guy, I'm getting guy friends. Obviously, guys can be friends with girls, blah blah blah. But I'm definitely getting like the same sex. So whatever gender you are, uh, that's the sort of people that are going to come into your life, um, friends wise, and they're going to be very very supportive. So I really hope this helped. If it did, please let me know down below, and please let me know if it resonated. Yeah, comment down below, subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting is a lot of you are earth signs, is what I'm getting. Earthy qualities, earth and air. I'm definitely feeling like you guys are connecting with this. If that is true, then please let me know. If not, that's totally fine. So let's see what you have for your overall energy. So we have the emperor, you needn't worry, and dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Positive expectations, making new friends romantic partner happy ever after and body movement so i feel like i think a few of you could have had problems with your body and just to let you know that this is going to improve and it's important to make sure you move your body so if you like dancing it's important to dance let that out let that energy flow keep that going so when it comes to a romantic partner here um and it says be loyal to what you love and you needn't worry this person here is going to come in quite soon i feel like um i actually feel like it could be coming in actually in this year or next year i actually feel like this year is quite prominent for a lot of you and it's also being loyal to who you are and making sure you're not changing for a relationship i'm getting stand your ground be strong be independent um be an independent person because you don't need to change a thing is what i'm getting i'm getting the song i'm getting the lyric uh it's like i don't want to miss a thing so i'm thinking i'm feeling like ignore my singing by the way <laughs> i feel like you feel like your time is ticking or you feel like you need to be in a relationship right now i'm feeling um quite a lonely energy and you don't need to worry because this person is coming in for you and the person that i'm talking to right now the future your future self is saying that it's okay like now this person has a relationship five years on whoever's watching this you have a relationship five years on it's like what was all the worrying about what why was i even worrying you don't need to worry everything is sorting itself out it might not look like it it might look a bit messy but it's all going to sort itself out and you actually have making new friends with the romantic partner so this person could also be a friend if you want to like have a clue on who this is they might be a friend to start off with or you could meet them through friends or you could just be making new friends and there's a lot of positive expectations 
through this. I like how we got positive expectations and happily ever after. So there's a lot of um, colour. I'm seeing like a lot of colour. And this card I feel like relates heavily to these two. Um, it's just really colourful and beautiful. And this person who you're going to be in a relationship with is going to be really, really loyal. Um, I'm definitely getting like... Every time I get loyal, I get Leo. I don't know why. But... Maybe they like embody like a Leo energy. Okay, so you needn't worry. There's no one in your life who hasn't all, always loved you. They're all just learning how to show it. Big silly universe. So I feel like you. I feel like you might not actually know this person who's gonna, you're going to be in a relationship with, or you might know. There's just general reading. So so many so many things that are coming up. So also I feel like you could you might not be able to notice this person when they come in. So because you're actually focusing on yourself very intensely and very, this is good, intensely is good. Because you're focusing yourself so much, you might not even notice when this person is coming in. Money is going to be really good for you as well, I just need to say. And um, make sure you're focusing on what you actually really love. Don't forget to, don't forget to um, focus on what you love and not to forget that. Because I feel like in this, obviously in this working world, you do forget what you love. And it's okay to change. It, um, I'm getting this as a personality change. And I'm getting this as it's okay to change hobbies, to change jobs. It's okay. There's no rules. Um, and it's being strong in who you are. And I actually feel like a lot of you will be in a boss sort of um, position in five years, in the next five years. Um, and you're going to, oh, this could be a sort of person that's very authoritative um, in, a, in a good way. It's like um, owning, owning who you are and being a boss of your own life. So yeah, um, I also picking up fire signs as well. So basically, this could be literally any, any sign. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below if this resonated for you. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Okay, so you guys got rose quartz. Let's see what you guys, what your few... Let, I can't talk. <laughs> Let's see what your future self wants you to know. Wow, all of you have got aces, which is so nice. I love that, I love that for you, that is so nice. So you've got the devil, ace of wands, you've got to convince yourself, not others, and you have time for a love fest. <gasps> oh, that's so nice. I've never got this card before, so that's interesting. A lot of new energies coming through. And you also got trust in the magic. Be honest with yourself higher consciousness parenting and children vacation and sexuality so the thing is what i'm thinking with the devil and sexuality starting off with because they're like right in the middle is i feel like um I'm feeling like self-control and sex are quite um, intertwined here. I'm trying not to be too graphic. Um, I really don't want to offend anybody. So what I'm feeling is I'm getting control and I'm getting sex. And I'm getting like a negative feeling towards it. And I feel like... Right, okay. So this may offend a few people. Um, I don't want it to offend anybody, but I just want to get it out there. So I'm feeling like you may feel the need to control people with sex because I feel like you're scared of people leaving you. This is quite intense, so just if you are under 18, please skip the next 30 seconds. Yeah, it's just this feeling of being scared and I don't feel like you need to do that. You have so many amazing qualities and so you have such a beautiful, sexy essence. I feel like you almost use it for the bad. You almost use it for like bad, for like controlling. If it's yourself, it's your, your thinking, I'm not sure what this actually means, but if this resonates with you, then hopefully it does. It controls your thinking, it controls your body. It's like a control. So I'm feeling like maybe there could be an ex who's quite controlling to do with sex or to do with, to do with sex or to do with intimacy. So, and that's moving through now and you will, you are starting to develop a more comfortable situation to do with sexuality. This could also be to do with, wow, this is getting really deep actually. People who are, who like the same sex or who are gay or uh, from the LGBTQ community. If you are, I'm feeling like if you are struggling in that area and you're trying to discover yourself, they're telling me that it's okay and you can let this out and you can let, 
you can let your natural self be here and be on this earth and not to be scared of that. So that was for a select few of you. Moving on, so what I'm feeling is you need to take time for yourself, take a vacation for yourself and be honest with yourself when you need to take this time off. And with the Ace of Wands, um, what is the Ace of Wands actually about? So uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing like it's going to be an opportunity to do with a new relationship coming through as well if you are single. Because with the Ace of Wands, it's new opportunities, inspiration, growth and potential. So I feel like you're growing into this new person as well. Convince yourself, not others. I feel like it's definitely to do with people, as I say, with the LGBTQ community who are moving into that. Um, who are coming out as gay, um, lesbian, that sort of thing. If not, it's to do with relationships and how... I feel like people are controlling you to be in a certain relationship or you like there's a lot of relationships around you like a lot of your friends are in relationships and you feel the need to be in one and it's focusing on yourself and not on others Fo keep focusing on yourself because that's who that's the most important part so the need to clarify explain or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving what's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways so I think this could be to do with the devil and um, this could also be to do with addictions. I feel like you um, use these addictions to control um, your environment or control yourself and I feel like you just need to like let go and let this person come through naturally and kind of be who you are. And we also got time for a love fest. Actually everyone is reasonable, they just have their own reasons and usually it's worth trying to learn what they are to maximise chances of a full blown 60s style psychedelic love fest, which is always a good thing, groovy you, the universe. So I definitely feel like it's someone going to come in and it's going to open you up to new opportunities as well as a lot of love that I feel like you need, that you need, you actually really really deserve, obviously everyone deserves love but I feel like you've been very hard on yourself the last few years and they're telling me that it's all going to be okay and it's all going to come through really really nicely for you and yeah and trust that it's all going to come through really really nicely for you so thank you guys for watching if you like this please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below if this resonated with you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is the crystal girl and I'll see you all very soon bye Hello group number five, so let's see what your future self wants you to know. So you got the amethyst crystal. So you guys got beauty, dreams coming true, visualization and creative expression. You also got the knight of swords, which is so nice, I love that. And you also got, there's a deeper reason for each of your questions, seek it. You also got be here now. So first of all, what really stands out to me is this card. So let's just see what it says on the back. So it says, there's a deeper reason for each of your questions. <laughs> questions, seek it. Guidance, attention, help, maybe. Love, always. Criticism, never. The question was, what to give others, if anything at all? Isn't it fun being you? So I'm feeling like you think a lot too deeply into the future um also it could either be that or you are at a crossroads at the moment and you're debating whether to where like what way to go so what i'm thinking is is to be here in the now and to appreciate what's in front of you right now i feel like i need to get an answer from the spirit animal oracle book so let's have a look Nectar is everywhere, but hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower and being all over the place wastes precious energy. Be still. Be here now, in the present moment, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Nectar, nectar is there for you, and hummingbird spirit message is that wherever you put your attention, there your energy flows. So I feel like you have a very strong mind wherever you put your focus to is where you're going to go ahead so what they're telling me five years in the future is to really keep concentrating on the moment and to meditate if you haven't started meditation yet i'm really getting the feeling that this is going to be really good for you and it's going to be really good for your health i feel like you're the sort of person that actually has quite a short attention span and you have quite a strong mind so yeah, i feel like you're like darting i'm getting like this darting motion so a lot of the time i feel like you're kind of all over the place um, I feel like you're the sort of person who's quite high energy as well. I'm getting you could be a Sagittarius as well, always kind of going after things all the time. Go, 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 go. And it's like, I feel like you need to be here in the moment. Um, it's easier said than done. It's, it's quite difficult. 
but I feel like the more you get into your creative expression could help you be in the moment as well um, to do stuff that you really enjoy that kind of slows your mind down. And the irony of this is we've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is actually a really fast moving energy. So what I feel like could be, this could be your energy that's opposing this card, like a slower card. And also what I'm feeling is the, the questions that you are seeking about your life and where you're going to go are all going to come to you. So wherever you're going to be in your career, your love life, that sort of thing, money, it's all going to come to you. And um, it's actually what I'm getting is it's going to come to you in moments when you're still. And it's actually, I feel like moments of stillness is what you're actually avoiding, which is why I feel like your, your questions that you need answering that haven't been answered for a long, long time or because you're at crossroads, you're struggling. And as I say, the quiet is actually going to really, really help you because it's going to help you to visualise what you actually want as well. So when it has dreams coming true and visualisation, I feel like we need another card for this just to see what's going on. So I'm getting a couple of messages coming through, but there's nothing like strongly clear coming through. So we've got the four of cups. So there's going to be an offer that's going to be coming to you. What do we need? What does your future self want you to know about this? So it's going to be an opportunity that's actually going to change your life is what I'm getting. And um, it's to not compromise on any opportunity that you think would just be like, actually, do you know what? No, scratch that. No, actually, there's two options. So one of them is to um, take up opportunities and to not let them pass you, even if they're really small. Um, if it feels right to you, then take it off. Obviously, if it doesn't feel right to you, then you don't have to take it. But small opportunities can actually lead to really big things is what I'm getting. And number two is what, what was the other thing? is to be picky about your options, but not be too picky. Um, so as I say, if it's something you don't really want to do, then don't do it. But a lot of small things can lead to big things. And I feel like you're kind of all in or all out. That's You're that sort of person. And um, yeah, I feel like you've got a lot of creative expression as well. And um, it's using that to your advantage. And to, as I say, slow your mind down. I feel like yoga, yoga could be really good for you as well to stretch your body out. I'm not sure why, but that's what came through. And we also got beauty, so I'm not sure what this card is about. Um, I don't actually think beauty is to do with your physical appearance. I feel like, do you know what? One of the one of the things that's actually coming through, that's actually, sorry, it's coming through for me, is one of you, is at, a, a, a few of you are actually looking into getting surgery and... They're telling me that if this is the right decision, it's what you want to go through with, then do it. Uh, this is cosmetic surgery. Uh, so implants, um, lifts, that sort of thing. Um, if it makes you happy, then go for it. Um, don't let people pressure you into feeling that you need to do that. Um, but be still in the moment and to really think about this because it is quite a big decision for you to do. Obviously, that's just for a few of you. So let's see um what beauty is about just because I'm, I'm a bit unsure of that and i feel like this is going to be quite an important thing for you to know so i'm not really getting any strong messages coming through right now <sighs> ace of pentacles wow so i actually feel like you could be having a few issues with your body i know it said it, i know it said it probably wouldn't be to do with your physical appearance but i actually feel like this is to do with your mental your mental state and it's linking to your body and your appearance so it's analysing negative thoughts and they're telling me to let them flow and you will, I actually feel like some of you are looking into doing modelling and there's going to be an opportunity for you to do modelling as well. Um, once that confidence comes through and you embrace that confidence. Yeah, I'm getting like, I don't know why this is to do with the S Pentacles, but I'm getting like slowly think about your opportunities before you take them also. Um, as I say, I know I said about taking small opportunities as well as big ones, but small ones as well as big ones still need the same sort of thought around them. Don't suddenly jump into things. Um, don't rush as well. Don't rush. There's no reason to rush. Everything is, is in order for you. Is there anything else we need to know? Let's pull an animal, animal oracle card again and let's see if there's anything else that we need to know. So the overall energy that's coming through right now is the be fearless and bold. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely to do with opportunities. So yeah, yeah, take take small opportunities as well as big ones because they're all gonna they're all gonna lead you for to things that you want. And um, I'm feeling a lot of you are feeling a little bit lonely as well. 
and um, yeah, it's just being kind to yourself and knowing that you aren't alone. Um, if you are, if you do feel alone, there are other people that do feel alone as well and you're not alone. No one is ever alone. And it's finding things that make you happy. I got, I got like the phrase, find things that make you happy in a world that tries to make you unhappy. I'm not sure what that's about. I think that's to do with like social standards and like, I don't know what social standards is. That just came out and body image and it's embracing your body that you're in and I'm getting like embracing who you are as a person and to not judge that. And the number four I feel like is a very interesting number for you. It's quite a strong, a strong number for you. So if you see the number four, look out for that. So this was a bit of a confusing reading, but hopefully you got something out of it. I also feel like uh, painting is really nice as well because it, it helps you use your hands. I feel like you're the sort of person that uses your hands quite a lot and as in like you're very tangible, you like holding on to things and like doing things with your hands. Um, it, it engages your brain as well. So yeah, that's really good for you. And yeah, everything, every, all the questions that you're seeking, will you will find them and be in the moment because that is what we're here for. I don't know why that came out, but... All we got is a present and that is what we're here for so thank you for watching if this resonated with you please let me know down below and say this is timeless so this could be resonating with you in a few years we don't we don't we, i don't know so if it does then that's great uh, please comment down below if this resonated with you and please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is crystal girl i love you all so 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 much thank you so so much for being here and i will see you all very soon bye